What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with a video. Oh, my God. Yes, I'm going to try to do more videos here in the coming days. I'm going to try to get at least one up a day. Obviously, no sports, so there may not be much to talk about. But as far as the New York Giants goes, obviously, I haven't done a lot of videos, so I haven't given you my thoughts on a lot of things. So we'll start today with a lot of people have asked me, you know, who do you want to draft? Who do you want the Giants to draft? Do you want an, uh, an offensive tackle? Do you want a left tackle? Uh, you know, you want a linebacker, would you take Chase Young? Obviously, if Chase Young is there at four, that's the guy I want. I don't think he's going to be there at four. Um, and obviously, a left tackle is very important with the development of Daniel Jones. You have a rookie quarterback. You want his blindside protector for the foreseeable future. And for years to come, you'd like that solid rock over there on the left side. We all know that Nate Solder is struggling. Daniel Jones had a fumbling problem in his rookie season. Not that that can't be fixed, but it certainly would help if he has blindside protection. But the guy I want is Isaiah Simmons. And I've wanted Isaiah Simmons way before the combine just because i feel like the new york giants offense is good enough it may not be great but i feel like it's good enough to win games but the defense has uh, left a lot to be desired over the last few years we have gotten destroyed by tight ends in recent years uh going down the seam running crossing patterns running outs whatever you want to do tight ends have destroyed the center of the new york giants defense isaiah simmons is a linebacker that can play at all three levels he can rush the passer a little bit and he's great against the run and he can certainly do a lot of coverage he's played a little safety over there at clemson so he can play that uh, typical money back role and be very effective of course he blew it up with the combine with a 4 3 9 40 so after this it's just sitting there saying to myself i don't remember the last time the new york giants had a wicked impact player on defense like isaiah simmons has the potential to be this is definitely the guy that i want now that's not saying that we can't go elsewhere in the draft for a linebacker there's another scenario which if the giants could do this and i don't know what they're going to do we never know on draft night we've seen a lot of surprises going back to last year and they took daniel jones six hell he went the raiders taking cleland farrell at number four nobody really saw that type of stuff coming i've heard rumors of the Raiders possibly trading up and, and wanting the number four pick to get a quarterback because they don't believe in Derek Carr, and I don't really blame him. Derek Carr's been injured. Uh, ever since Derek Carr has started to take off, but ever since that uh, serious ankle injury he had a few years ago, hasn't been the same quarterback. If the Raiders did decide to trade up with the New York Giants and give us our number 12 and number 19, I think you could still get a left tackle. Uh, you're probably one of these three guys available, Tristan Wirfs, Jedrick Wills, or Andrew Thomas, you might be able to get one of them at number 12. And at number 19, you could get your linebacker and Kenneth Murray, who I absolutely love Kenneth Murray. You guys know I'm a Sooner fan. There's very few, since I started following the Sooners in 2005, or say I became a fan in 2005, there has not been one defensive player on Oklahoma that I got excited to watch until I saw Kenneth Murray. Kenneth Murray is an absolute stud. Uh, very aggressive linebacker, plays 110% as a great motor, and, and, and just, you know, he's a savage. And I love I love the aggression that Kenneth Murray brings. To me, this would be the best case scenario for the Giants. If you could get a left tackle at 12 and a Kenneth Murray at 19, I would love that as well if they traded with the Raiders. But who knows? I mean, like I said, there's a lot uh, to be desired as far as where we go in the draft, what we do in free agency. Um, you know, I'm going to talk about the Jadevian Clowney thing. I'm going to talk about Byron Jones. I'll do those in future videos because I have thoughts on what we should do if they want to go after Jadevian Clowney, they want to go after Byron Jones, you know, because this obviously is going to make a big deal in what we do in the draft. If they go after Byron Jones, then you could take Jeff Akuda off the board. If they don't, Jeff Akuda is still there. You know what I mean? If they go after Jadevian Clowney, obviously you're not going to re-sign Marcus Golden. You could re-sign Marcus Golden, leave Jadevian Clowney off there, get Golden for half the price. There's a lot of things that the New York Giants can do. And as far as like doing mock drafts, I will do my best to get one up. They take a lot of time. And even without sports, without live streaming still to sit there and take I, I mean i could probably do this at night some night and just do a lot of stuff and maybe get a mock draft up there that i'm hoping to get at least one up there uh for the giants and it probably would just be a straightforward draft no trades involved or whatever i'm not gonna have time to do 10 15 mock drafts. just i don't have that kind of time and i'll be quite frank with you i don't want to spend 50 hours uh, looking up uh, all the scenarios from Madrid. I just, I don't want to do that. I'm lazy when it comes to that. I'll be completely honest with you uh, about that. I don't want to do 10 mock drafts. I'll do at least one. At least I'll try to get one up there this year. Definitely looking forward to NFL free agency. I know this whole uh, epidemic or this pandemic going around has kind of halted sports at the moment. There's talk about, oh, maybe they're not going to, well, I don't know why they wouldn't have free agency you're not getting a bunch of people together there's no crowds involved for that so i don't know why they wouldn't have free agency go on as planned that is uh, i believe it's wednesday march 18th is the day um 
for free agency to begin. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the Giants do in free agency, which is why I want to get that Byron Jones and Jared Davian Clowney video up there before free agency hits. Um, but, you know, again, Isaiah Simmons is the guy that I want the New York Giants to draft because I just feel like if you have that impact player on defense, a difference maker on defense, it makes a world of difference going down the stretch, not allowing teams to drive down to get game-winning scores or get that big lead where we're forced to play catch him and Daniel Jones is forced to throw the ball so the defense has no second guessing and they could just straight on go and rush the passer. And we all know the offensive line struggled last year in pass protection. So that's who I want the Giants to take. I want Isaiah Simmons at number four. If everything goes according to plan, where Chase Young is off the board at two and the Lions pass on Isaiah Simmons, which I hope they would do, but you never know. Isaiah Simmons could go three to the Lions and then it has a whole new set of circumstances for the Giants. That's why, uh, you know, the draft is a lot of fun. That's why free agency is a lot of fun because you just don't know what these teams are going to do. And there's always a surprise somewhere along the line where nobody saw it coming, just something completely out of left field. And um, it, it throws the whole draft off. It throws the whole free agency off. But we'll see what the Giants do on March 18th as far as free agency goes. But when everybody asks me who I want as our draft pick, it's Isaiah Simmons because I feel like he can play all three levels of defense at that linebacker position. And we haven't had a linebacker like that since, I don't know. I don't know. When's the last time we had a linebacker like that? Was Jesse Armstead that guy? You know, was Anto Antonio Pierce couldn't cover. We all know that. So when's the last time we had a linebacker that could play all three levels of defense? I think that Isaiah Simmons can do it. That's the guy I want. Give me Isaiah Simmons at number four from Clemson. That's all I got from this video, guys. And again, I'm going to try to do more videos. I'll try to put some Yankee stuff up there. There's a lot I want to talk about with the Yankees. And of course, even though I'm not a Laker fan, which everybody's like, oh, you Laker fan. They, they love to talk about the Lakers. It's funny. But because I cover the Lakers, I plan on doing at least a couple Laker videos. We'll sprinkle them in now and again. And all I can say is, please let this pandemic go away because I am losing my freaking mind without sports. Until next time, guys, it's the Bad Diggity Dizzle and I am gone. Peace!